Nevada's Attorney General is formally taking a stance on medicinal oils that are based in marijuana. For several months, people have been questioning whether those oils are legal under Indiana law. The AG, Curtis Hill, has delivered his opinion. It is an opinion that carries quite some weight. Drew Blair joins us in the newsroom with what this all means. Drew? Well, just for the first explanation here, the oil issue or the oil products at issue are called CBD. And there are a lot of people dealing with different diseases or side effects from treatments that claim that the oils help them with those. Curtis Hill says he considers the oil to be illegal under state law. The attorney general says a bill passed this year legalized CBD oil for some patients of treatment resistant epilepsy, but that's it. Hill says only some epilepsy patients who are on a new state registry can use the oil. Earlier this year, law enforcers started seizing the products from store shelves. Retailers and other businesses that sold it were left confused over what is legal and what is not. One of those is the owner of an animal therapy clinic we talked to in Greenfield. You're seeing video of it now. We, she stopped selling the product when state police told her to do so over the summer, but has been unsure what to do with her inventory. Right, it has been absolutely frustrating, and especially for our customers, because they were purchasing it and really using it for, you know, their dogs that have cancer and arthritis and stress and anxiety issues. State police say they're still looking into what to do about businesses that were in possession of CBD oil before the AG's decision. Meanwhile, state rep Jim Lucas says he plans to introduce a new bill this session to legalize any CBD oil without the chemical THC. He also wants to legalize medical cannabis. Now, the discussion doesn't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon, Lauren, so this is certainly something we'll continue to follow. Well, absolutely. It is at odds with an earlier decision, so the thing continues. Thanks, Drew. It's eight minutes after the hour.